currently running on about an hour and a half of sleep. Just drove four hours. My buddy Matt right here. We are about to fish Briary Lake. And uh, if you haven't heard about it, check this out. This is what you like to see when you come to a lake. Trophy largemouth bass regulation. So we're about to launch out. We're trying to think of a, uh, we're having a little strategy meeting so we can break down this lake we've never been to before. What's planned? What's the, the first step, man? Get there safely. <laughs> there is literally standing timber everywhere here. It's a forest underwater. It's nuts. You'll definitely see it in a second. We're idling around right now, just taking a look. And check out, check this out guys. Trees are literally everywhere. Look at that. You can see the limbs on this graph right here. Absolutely incredible. Water temp 77 degrees. Pretty cool. 12 foot boat. We've got about 14 rods on here. Gonna be prepared to uh, catch some big ones today. Hopefully. So we're starting here on this uh, shaded bank. The depth is 30 feet. Plenty of standing timber. We're just gonna work our way through that forest over there and then I guess maybe work our way out deeper and hopefully catch something. Maybe back off a little bit for you? I oh, know it's fine. I'm just gonna be, I'm just looking, okay. looking around at the vast sea of wood. Crazy. You're throwing the black and blue jig. I'm gonna start with the uh, Rapala yeah. DT10 right here. Let's cover some water. We're making a move. We've been fishing for a little over an hour. No bites yet. Still trying to get that first bite to figure this place out a little bit. We're gonna try fishing some of that offshore wood that we uh, located when we were idling around. All right, we moved back out to the super deep forest over here. I'm throwing a uh, very heavy drop shot rig. And because we've been struggling so much, we're giving ourselves a little more incentive. Matt suggested that whoever catches the first fish gets a free dinner paid for by the other dude. Oh yeah. I'm throwing the drop shot. He's throwing a giant slither rig. So I think I have a better chance at hooking up with something first. He's gonna snag one. He's gonna snag one? <laughs> we'll see, we'll see who uh, strikes first blood. It might be a little safer. It looks like nothing coming up. Yeah, that's true. I'm trying to figure out where we're at. Oh, yeah, it is around that corner. Yeah, you're right. I don't really see anything, but I know they're down there. That's scary part. Yeah. But we'll give it a little. Just nah, play safe. Be wary. Holy oh! What the f? <laughs> the boat. Gee, every time we say that, we end up hitting a log. God, we're in the middle. Look, we're in the middle lake. Logs there, logs there. It doesn't look like there's anything. As soon as he gives it a little gas, we freaking nail log. It's crazy. All right, no more. We're just gonna play safe and yeah, just go. No more, yeah, no, no more, more gas. No more, hey, no more gas. That was twice in a row. Twice in a row. So I think we're about approaching the two and a half or three hour mark. Zero fish landed. I've been fishing the drop shot for a while, trying to place it right up close to the tree where the fish should be positioned, but have not had any success yet. It's our first time here, so we're trying to break it down because there's wood like this literally across the entire lake. So we're trying to find those sweet spots where maybe they're stacked up. It'll happen sometime. At some point today, maybe tomorrow, some point it'll happen. Wanna go over there? Try it, man. Yeah, let's go, let's go check it out. Let's, let's go it. check it out. Check it out. Oh, dude. Oh, sh Are we stuck? Yeah, we're stuck on oh no! Do you feel it? I see it. You see it? Too short to reach. Too short to reach. Oh, spinning. Spinning. Oh, I see it. There's one end of it. We're stuck. That's for sure. Oh, yeah, we are stuck. I think one. Of, I think we just have to get someone. One of us has to get half in the water and just push off of our legs. Oh yeah! Don't go. Don't take a GoPro off. You're gonna yeah, do that. You're good. Honey, uh, what point? dude, yo, with the GoPro on, dude, with the GoPro on, look at this guy. Are we still on it? Can we turn off the? Oh, get in, get in. Oh my, like stuck. It's, it's stuck. Like right here, I don't know. Maybe if you reach your leg in and press off of that. That one. And I'll push off of this one. All right. Try that. Try it. Put you guys down for a second. You can enjoy the uh, the failure probably. Hang on. Don't start pushing until we uh, team this shit up. Oh, my, my branch is small. Mine too. Oh. Okay. Okay, hey, ready? Uh, All right, push forward. Okay, push to, forward. To your right. Come on. Yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah, we're we doing it. We're doing it. We got it. Do we do it? All right, ready? Get up. In. Get in. Ah! Do we do it? We're good. Woo! We saved it. That was ridiculous. Hang on, wait, wait. No, we're not good. It's still. Oh, it's still good. Come to the front. 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 All 
good now? Are we moving? Yes, we're, we're moving. moving? <laughs> Dude. Got it. Woo. Thank God. Look at it. Look at it. All right. It is currently one o'clock. We've been fishing out here for about five hours. This is how many fish we've caught. And this is how many bites we've got here. Literally not even a single bite. So uh, what's the plan now, Matt? I think we're going to head over to Sandy River Reservoir. We're going to try a new place out because uh, this place is not producing any fish. Maybe we might come back tomorrow since we'll be here for two days. Mother dude. Oh, that's a fucking bass, dude. The feeding? Dude, I gotta reel it in. Come out. I don't know. Just throw it in the. I'm throwing it in. The, I'm throwing it in the money zone. Oh, that's the money zone. Sure. That was a bass. That was 100 a bass. Was Good like, size too. too. That's why I'm throwing top water, man. Genius. I got that subsurface. Man, this tree looks cool. Oh, oh, he blew up! Oh, he, oh, he blew up! Oh, he, Wait, he's on it! He's on it! He's blowing he's up! He's on! He keeps missing! I got him! I got a fish! We got one, baby! Let's go! Dude, we did it! The top one in the middle afternoon! Dude, we got one after six hours of nothing. We're heading to the other... Dude, I've never been so happy to get one. Oh, I'd land the sucker. Woo! It's not a giant. We'll take it, though. Top water. Holy afternoon. Give me some, please. That was amazing. Dude, that felt real good. I don't think I've ever been so happy to catch a pound and a two pound and a half, two pounder. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we were right back at the ramp. Oh. Woo! Oh my god, that was sick. <sighs> the top water fish. Thank you, buddy. We did not get skunked here. What are we doing? I'm fishing here a little longer? I mean we just got one, right? Spot right here, maybe. Yeah, so we've been fishing literally everything, guys. Spinner baits, lots of bottom baits, jigs, drop shots, plastics. I fished at top water a little bit earlier today, but we were leaving. I was like, why not? Let's just throw it out, try something crazy. And it worked. Sure enough. We saw we that fish feeding. We saw that fish feeding, cast it to it. He missed it a million times, and boom. Boom goes the dynamite. Oh, yeah, gotcha. Right, let's keep fishing down this bank, I guess, cover some water. Yeah. We seem to be getting finding some fish, huh? If we move our baits around, we'll run into them. Yeah. What the heck? The what the? F oh, dude, man. how big was that fish? Dude, I don't know, but it scared the oh, shit out of me. Oh my oh, gosh. My God. Dude, I might want to... Boat, what's, that, how, what's the size of the bait they're chasing? That was insane. I see bait. I don't see anything. Dude. That was a gigantic that fish. Was a, that that was, might have been a 10-pounder. Not even kidding. Not even kidding, guys. Dude, that was... That might have been a 10-pounder. That was insane. He was like right in front of the boat. It's crazy. Oh, there is. Look at all those fish beneath us. Oh yeah. Oh those yeah. Are all fish. Look at that. Yeah. All fish right there. I right, go with the old gunfish. They're just like suspended off the bottom. It's 14 feet right here. All right. All right, dude. We Mark. figured this shit out. We figuring this shit out, bro. Okay, let's do it. It's game time. Let's do it, man. It's game time. What came here for? All right. After six hours. Oh, you know what? I know it's gonna work. We finally figured this out. What's gonna work? Crankbait, yeah, that's a good call. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna stick with the top water. Keep go with the, the gunfish. We'll see which. Uh... Two in the afternoon. Not a single. A couple clouds in the sky. Pretty much a bluebird sky. It's crazy. That's classic top water condition, guys. Don't forget that. Right down in your notebook. Never rule out any type of bait. 82 degree water temps, and we're catching him on top waters on a bluebird day. Oh, I got one! I got him, I got him, he's a little guy. Dude, he hit it all the way out there. Oh, I got him on. Yeah, he might be schooling out there, throw your bait. This guy's not a giant by any means, but that was a nice blow up. Little dude. And that's in the 30 feet of water though. Jump for me, buddy. My gunfish. Whoa, watch those trebles, right? Don't get a face of base there. Ooh, there we go. Nice. A little chunk. Very good. Swiped at it. Got him right in the side of the mouth. Oh, so, so something's jumping over there. Oh, they're feeding over there. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. They're feeding over there. All right, let them go. Let them go. Oh, 
shallow. Yeah, they are shallow. They're shallow. Oh, it's turning on now, guys. 3 p.m. That's when you want to fish in the summer. Clearly, don't go in the morning, evening. You went 3 p.m. Middle of the afternoon. They're up. There. They're on there. They're, they were there, and then they pushed them up into that corner. Oh yeah, chasing that bait right up into the bank. Yeah, it's classic. Yeah, you cast first. I'll cast next to you. Man, that really looked like shad. The way they were jumping. Yeah. Dude. Maybe the shad here is they're just misinformed. Because that really looked like shad. Like a huge school of them. Oh! 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 Wait! Oh, 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 wait! No! No! That looks no. like a pig, dude. I'm no. coming behind. It's a good one. Oh, he missed it. He missed it. Oh, oh. there's a bunch of bait up there. There's a bunch of bait up there? Just, Damn it! I missed it again. He keeps missing it. He's just... Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Can you believe it, dude? Six yeah. hours of nothing, and now last 20 minutes, it just gets absolute craziness on top water. Oh! Oh! oh. Dude, he missed it! Did you see that explosion? Dude! Oh my gosh! Gosh! You threw your bait over there! That was the most insane explosion you've ever seen! Oh, please come back. Oh. Guys, I think we figured out a pattern. We're just fishing any isolated wood with top waters. We fish them with jigs and plastics and stuff, but they really just want top waters. With that, the fish came out of 21 feet of water. It looks like the 10 to 20 foot range has been key. Did you see that? That was insane. Are you pausing yours? You're just pulling it straight back. Yeah. Oh, oh, back there. Go, go, go. oh yeah, back there. Yeah, that's one. Good eye, good eye. Throw it. I'm not even pausing mine. I don't. Oh, you're not. Oh, you're not pausing. I think I'm not talking. I was like, what are you doing? Pausing. <laughs> <Where's that? laughs> nice cast. Oh, one of us. We're in the zone. Do you hear that or do you see it? Both. I heard it, I turned around and I saw two, two huge flashes. Oh, I got him! That's a good fish! That's a good fish! Nice. That's a decent one. Dude, that's, that goes to you though, man. You saw that fish. Hey, man, you got him. Get him. That's a good one. That's a solid fish. I don't want him to jump. Don't, I don't want him to jump and pop off. Yeah. Oh, he's not really fighting too much. Look at him. He's kind of just not moving. <laughs> that's kind of interesting. He's just hanging out. Yeah. Ah. Oh, oh, that's quick release. We saw him. Quick release. Two pounder. We were playing with him. <laughs> that was nice. Man, this is crazy action. That's like in the middle of 35 feet of water, just out there, working as bait as aggressively as we can. Imitate a wounded fleeing bait fish, and these bass are just reacting to it. And most of the time, they're attacking and missing it. But that time, he at least got it. All the big ones are missing it. That's the problem. All the 10 pounders. Yeah. How many 10 pounders have you missed? <laughs> I think three or four by now. At least. No, I didn't hear anything. There's one. Oh, he's out. He's way out there. Man. I got him. I got him. A solid fish. Yeah. Yeah, they are. Figuring them out. It took a while. It took six hours to figure something out. There we go. Nice. You know this guy's been hanging around the wood. Look at that red bump on his lip. He's feeding right around the wood. I see you, buddy. Oh, one just, oh, oh my oh gosh, oh, that's a, dude, giant. that's a guy, oh my god, dude, oh my, he came up and missed it and came up again. Dude, that, did you see that fish? How did, that, yeah, was, pig, that, that was, was a three a and a half to four, I think, I don't know, that was a big one. I just that's, saw it. <laughs> how the hell did that happen? How did I not hook him? That's crazy. Right here, they're active, man, they're just chilling. All right, it's been about an hour and a half since our last fish. The wind changed direction, we've been fishing the same areas, not a single bite. So we're going to abandon the spot which has been on fire and we're going to locate, try to locate some new fish and sun's going down. Hopefully uh, the big ones come out. Let's fish here for a sec. Let's throw some deep diving. Throw the crankbait. I'll throw, I'll count down the Bama rig. I got fish! Oh my god, it's a giant! Dude, hit that bammer rig! Oh, no, on the bammer rig! We hit the thermal climb! Oh my gosh, dude! I I don't know. I, I think it's a good sign, but it hit it like a ton of bricks. Dude, that's sick. Oh my gosh, dude! Need help? Dude, it's the first fish we've. It's a big. It's a big. It feels like a good fish. Oh, that's a good. Oh, that's a good one. 
Oh, he's, he's way, I thought he was way bigger than that. Dude, that's awesome. <laughs> On the Bama rig. We'll take that fish. Nice. All right. Is that your second Alabama rig? Second Bama rig fish that's ever. The one Ow, he's biting me. Ow, he's biting me again. I'm gonna wait on you, buddy. The biggest one of the day that I land in. Of course, I always lose the big ones. Official weight is gonna be 2.67. Just about, just a little over two and a half pounds. Beautiful little chunk, let you go. We haven't caught a fish in a long time. And Matt pointed out on his depth chart that uh, the thermocline was about in the 18 foot range, 71 degrees below the thermocline and 91 above. And we were seeing a lot of fish hanging right around it. So I decided to count down that Alabama rig right here. And uh, first cast, counting it down, counting down about 18 seconds. Started reeling it in slow and steady. Got that uh, nice little chunk to nail it. All right, we ran out of time. Unfortunately, we are at a hotel now, but Matt and I will be heading back to the same place tomorrow and search for that giant bass. Today was uh, pretty interesting. The morning we struggled, the afternoon we had a hot bite for about two hours, catching a ton of fish on the Lucky Craft Gunfish. I was fishing it as fast as I could, trying to imitate a fleeing bait fish, just uh, jerking it back and forth, across, skittering across the water. And it was interesting, that was like the only bait the fish would even look at. What did you try fishing today, man? So I was fishing a Sammy and a buzz bait, literally right next to Mike, and they wouldn't even look at it. Yeah, it was... I don't even know what was going on, but we got those fish. And I got that Alabama rig fish right at the end, which was really cool. Uh, heading back there tomorrow. And uh, guys, Matt's actually doing a 30-day fishing challenge. He's fishing 30 days in a row. Going to film and edit each day. You're on Every day, day six? I'm on day seven. Day seven. Yeah. Day seven. <laughs> so be sure to check out his channel. I'll have it linked in the video description below. And yes, he did catch a fish. But I, didn't, I wasn't there to witness it. Well, I was there, but I wasn't conscious. Let's take a look.